Now, leveling up your team uh, is a, a phenomenal time to be done during the down periods, whether it's during Christmas, during Fourth of July week, or during the COVID-19 crisis. These are all great times to be talking about how do I grow my team? How do I motivate and teach them more so we can all build a bigger, better future together? Uh, many of you have staff that's on some kind of limited uh, work hours and, and restricted duty or restricted pay. Uh, this is the perfect time to turn them loose here. We're giving you our Success Academy workbook. Uh, you can go download this with this link. We'll send you the link afterwards. This is going to get you started on the five A's. 91% of dentists can't tell me what their five A's are. 91% of dentists have no idea how many calls they're answering, how many patients their front desk is appointing, and how many patients are actually attending their calls. Now, case acceptance, most dentists know their case acceptance average or they assume it's really good. Uh, usually, usually in most cases, case acceptance is not the big problem. Now, there are cases it is. Generally, it's not. Generally, the problem is answer, attend, and accept. Uh, sorry, answer, appoint, and attend. And the final one is average. Oftentimes in practices, the average patient value looks like a roller coaster. And I mean, it can go from $800 per appointment one month down to $150 the next month. And that is a huge, huge driver in these cash spikes and cash crunches that a lot of dentists encounter. Uh, and it's all based around the average and the strategies that are in place. Remember, a 10% increase at each of the five A's will double the, double the outcome of your marketing. To help you and your team get started, go download the workbook. Start going through this. If you got Zoom, you got Uber Conference, you got Google Hangouts, you got FaceTime, get on it. Uh, download the workbook and start going through this with your team. Uh, this is going to get you understanding your numbers. Um, there was a really tragic story that just happened recently. We lost a basketball legend. We lost uh, a, a national hero, Kobe Bryant. Uh, Kobe's pilot made the mistake that he thought he could fly a helicopter with no visibility. And he didn't have the dials and the gauges to tell him that there was a big old mountain in front of him. And as a result, nine people tragically lost their lives. Your business is not unlike Kobe's helicopter. You've got to have the dials and the gauges in your cockpit so you know what's going on in your practice. The five A's are the five of the biggest metrics you need to be watching. If you're a client of ours, you know we're showing you these on your dashboard on a daily basis. These are critical metrics for you to follow. And download this workbook. You can start working through those metrics and start understanding where is the opportunity? Where's the opportunity for me to add 10 or 20 or $30,000 a month by making a 10 or 15% increase? If my staff, if I audit them and they're answering 70% of the calls right now and we can get that to 80%, we don't, we don't need to move mountains here. Uh, we don't need to get to 100%. That's not the goal. If we can get from 70 to 80, and maybe your appointing is at 50%, maybe it's at 50% with Susie, but it's at 62% with Sally. Ooh, now here we go. What's Sally doing that she's 12% better? And how can we help Susie get the skill set and the tool set to, to raise her game, right? Let's grow that from 50 to 60%. And then maybe your show up rate between your cancellations and your no shows, uh, any cancellation within 24 hours of the appointment is a no show. Your cancellations and no shows might be 12%, 15%, maybe it's 5%. Who knows? You, only you know. How can we improve that 10%? How can we get from 85% to 95%? And all of a sudden you're on your way to doubling 
your revenue. If you spend 5,000 a month on marketing, now, uh, instead of getting 20,000 a month out of it, you can be getting 50 or 60,000 a month out of it. Uh, these are the strategies, right? These are the numbers. I'm giving you the math right now. The strategies are in the workbook. Understand your dials, understand your metrics, get your team into the strategies, right? Because we can't just go to our team and say, you have to appoint more patients. That doesn't work. Spreadsheet leadership is garbage. It doesn't work. It's never going to work. There's plenty of consultants out there that like to lead and train with spreadsheets and it can't be done. It, it alienates your team. Uh, you, you may have tried it in your practice before and you had the, the coup d'etat, your team revolted against you and they said, we're not doing this. And, and that's not leadership, right? You've got to arm them with the strategies and support them to grow. And that's what this workbook is going to show you exactly how to do. We teach the dentist performance framework. There's five things you need to be doing in your practice. If you're a client of ours, you've seen all this. So I'm going to go through this quickly. I know we have a lot of clients on here tonight. I don't want to dwell on uh, all this stuff and, and, and it gets lost uh, uh, on our existing clients. There's five things you need to be doing in your practice. You've got to attract more and better patients. You've got to increase your patient value. You need to retain your patients for life. You have to grow your profits and you got to build a motivated and a productive team. You know, as a marketing agency, we can drive great results. But at the end of the day, if that result didn't drive growth in the practice, it does the dentist no good. Leads and calls are of no value. Uh, this, these are the five key points. And I would challenge you to ask yourself, which of these areas are you doing great at? Which of these areas do you need to focus on? Pick one and work on it this week. Think about it. Don't, don't try to tackle all five. Pick one this week and work on it. Uh, because when you can have focus around the five strategies, focus is power. And when you can increase your expert status and you can attract the right patients and you can focus on these dials and gauges, the metrics that really matter, you start leveraging the five A's in the money funnel and you get that team driven practice going. Uh, this is where it happens. This is the magic that the five A's drives. Uh, the offices that focus on the five year plan versus the one year plan are going to grow exponentially better. You can't just be chasing the next shiny object out there. Focus on one. Focus is power and crush it. And this is one of the biggest things that's responsible, uh, I think, in my opinion, for the massive growth of our clients across the board. As of the end of March, we've generated over $5 billion in new patient revenue potential since 2009 for our docs. I told you earlier, I started the company in 2001. We didn't have the sophisticated tracking systems that we have now uh, in those eight years prior to that. We've worked with almost 5,000 practices and uh, based on the data, of the analysis we've done, 52% uh, increase in average over 24 months is uh, what we found with our practices. Uh, if you're out there right now and you think, I've got, I've got unique problems, you've probably never seen a practice with my problems before. I assure you that's not the case. We've been doing this for a long time and we figured out a lot. And this is what we're able to deliver. We don't talk about hits and clicks and impressions. Uh, this is uh, the real deal and real practices.